Alright, so as you guys can see from the title, we're gonna hope we don't crash today. <laughs> but we're taking the Camaro out in the rain, man. And um, I know some people wonder how these cars handle, um, these high horsepower rear wheel drive cars handle in the rain. And um, it's not as bad as most people may think, right? I mean, if I flood a car, of course, like, yeah, I'm gonna spin out most likely. But, you know, at the same time, you know, it's rear wheel drive and sometimes you may slip up or, you know, or sometimes the car can <laughs> just decide to do something crazy like, you know, hydroplane or something. But if you have good tires, so, yeah, so that's the first thing I actually want to talk about is tires, right? If you're going to do this, drive a car like this in the rain, guys. Uh, make sure you have the good tires the factory tires that come on this car Almost anybody will tell you it's not good in wet roads, right? But the tires I have on here are the Continental uh, Extreme contact DWS 06 I believe uh, that's the name but These tires handle great in wet and dry roads man, but yeah, so uh, we're just gonna do a point of view drive, man. Continue this drive. Um, I'll accelerate a little more in some points, but I'm not going to be crazy, of course. <laughs> you know, but. And don't worry, if you guys wanna know about this check engine light, let's say you're new to this video, I have previous videos on what this light is about, okay? I can drive the car for now. I know some of you were concerned but I can drive the car for now, it's fine, man. for you all who may want to know or see all these handles but to be honest I really 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 hate driving in the rain man I, something about it just aches my soul like you know like because the thing is I, I start thinking of all kinds of things you know like I start thinking of people just sliding out of control I think of me sliding out of control accident in the rain before and I don't know I, I still to this day I don't know how that accident happened like I was going 30 miles 35 miles per hour and um, yeah like the car my that was in my Camaro SS and I spun out of control like I wasn't even accelerating hard you know so yeah kind of traumatized but traction light come on yeah then <laughs> you know you're going too crazy but um yeah that's one thing I wouldn't do is turn off the traction control though like that's what <laughs> I wouldn't even I mean it would be good to see on video how it handles with it off and in the rain but yeah no when I get rich maybe I'll turn it off in the rain <laughs> but Girl, I let do this in my car. Put a feet up like that. It's, even if it's not on the car, still. I'm 
only girl in this car? Yeah. <laughs> Why you look at me like that? <laughs> I just got the nastiest look. <laughs> uh, hey man, you guys seen the videos? I don't be bringing girls in this car, man, like that, you know? <laughs> they see when the road looks shiny, like I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but when the when the part looks shiny, that's when I really get scared. It just feels like I'm about to go over ice. So um for those of you who don't know, this car has a mode called snow and ice, right? And um obviously it's for snow and ice conditions. But in case you guys maybe think, well, okay. If it's meant to handle in the snow, maybe it might be good for rain, right? Because it controls the power. Um, yes and no. Um, I know a lot of people, um, and the manual recommends like it should only be used really in these, you know, snow conditions. But you know, I, when I had my SS, I used to put it in a uh, in snow and ice under heavy rain. But to be honest, guys, I don't even think that really makes a difference. Uh, just leave the car in touring mode if it's raining, man. Make sure the traction control is on, you know, and the computer should save you, assuming your tires are good. Oh, look, is that uh, that damn electric Mustang, man? God damn it, right? <laughs> Oh, I hate that thing. You like the way that SUV looks? No. You like the way that SUV looks? No. <laughs> That's so crazy too because uh, it's a GT. Supposedly it's fast and look at the tires. Like the tires are thinner, thinner than ever. Like freaking bicycle tires, man. It must be all-wheel drive or something, bro, because supposedly it is supposed to be fast, though. I haven't looked at the numbers, but any car that's fast, man, I can't, I can't do it thin tires, bro. I would say. Gotta get these brakes changed this week. Oh, that's another video I gotta make for you guys. Tell you how much the brake pads cost in this car. Actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Actually wasn't bad. I bought a power stop brakes for my ZL1. A lot of you are familiar with the brand already. But, um, yeah, man, I got a, I feel like I got a good deal and the shipping was pretty quick. Alright, so before before I uh, close out on this video, I'm going to try to just go like a little bit faster for you guys to see. Um, if assuming the traffic uh, gets easier. But with these tires and doing everything I've said so far in this video, you should be fine. Be 
ready to like scrape the side of your car just to get in the turning lane. And sometimes like they can't even turn right away, man. It's crazy. Actually, you know what? Let me go down this street because get a better chance to go faster what huh um unless if you wanted to do something else you're hungry hmm? no okay. yeah i'm going to another car event tonight right now oh the event um nine nine p.m all right so let me try here Trying to go faster, but <laughs> trust me when I tell you guys, like, I'm scared as hell to touch that accelerator. <laughs> yes. Yeah. this car or really any car you know the stopping distance is a little longer of course because it's wet but yeah it's manageable man it's manageable So, so since I'm gonna start from the front of the light guys, I think this will be the last the last acceleration slash pull I do in the rain. I can't wait to get that check engine light uh, issue resolved, man. It's kind of bothering me. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping it's simple, man, because I talked to a mechanic guys about that issue and. He was like, you only have 14,000 miles on the, on the car. So the oxygen sensor or the catalytic converter, which is what the check engine light code is centered around. You know, it's basically saying the catalytic converter is not working as it should, you know, but um, at that amount of miles, he's like, well, man, it's too soon for it to be failing. And that's the same thing I thought. So he's thinking it's either the car was tuned, you know, and because um, when you tune cars, especially if you tune it for like pops and crackles, that code comes on a lot because, you know, a bunch of extra fuel being pumped in, pumped into the exhaust or unburn, unburned fuel being pumped into the exhaust. And um, that, can, that can ruin your cats faster or trigger that code so he's thinking is that or you know maybe the oxygen sensor did go bad so i'll be actually really surprised if my catalytic converter is bad man um you know although it should be under warranty guys i'm telling you i really really hate bringing my car to the dealership man like just something about it bro i don't care if it's free i hate 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 bringing my car to the dealership Especially when they keep it overnight, like, I don't know, man. I just want to go in there sometime, get my diagnostics, and just do my repair the same day, bro. Like, sometimes I'll be waiting days and days with no no uh, callback or follow-up, nothing. That's the part that kills me the most about, about leaving my car at the dealership. Like, just no follow-ups. annoying. Like. But anyway, guys, um, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'm getting two things done. Well, I'm trying to get two things done this week with this car. The first is the brake pads. 
um, that should happen this week. The front brake pads, it's, it has a lot of meat, but the sensor is touching apparently. So um, I can leave it for a while, but you know, I don't like that noise. <laughs> so I'm replacing the brake pads this week. I'll let you guys know how much it costs, the pads and the labor. And also, I'm trying to see if I can get more opinions on the on the check engine light code. I don't know. Maybe the guy, the guy who was doing it for me, he's a you know he's a big Camaro guy. He actually has a fifth gen Camaro where that's like built up, you know. So maybe he might give me a a second opinion on uh, what he thinks that problem is with the light. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Appreciate you guys watching, man. See you in the next one. Let's go.